remember freshman year when we were CIF, it was third round, and um, I was a scared little freshman. Well, I played uh, baseball for all four years in, here at Mission, and uh, I can still remember the first day at practice. We were down by two points, and um, it was a really big game because you lose and you get knocked out of CIF. First throw of my entire high school career goes right into the ground, right in front of me. I felt like an idiot. And um, Jenna Caruso, there was like 20 seconds left and we were down by two. And um, we ended up shooting and making a basket, so it's a tie game. And then Jenna Caruso gets fouled and she ends up shooting free throws and we were just all like shaking, like scared because if she misses, then like we're out. And it's like a good feeling to know I have baseball every day at four and I'm gonna go get to do, like hang out with my friends and just kind of mess around and do what we love, play baseball for two hours. And if she makes it, then we keep going on. And um, and she made it. And we ended up. My favorite memory was the entire crowd. I just remember big old Jared Casey running out onto the court, and uh, the whole entire stands just swarming us. And um, it was amazing. Like we couldn't stop smiling. And everybody's everybody's so close. Everybody knows each other. It's like you. Every single person on the team, you can look at them and know them in a personal relationship off the field. I'll never forget the slow high basketball game this year. Um, the anticipation built up the entire week. High school, my most memorable experience uh, came in, in football my senior year. I was super pumped and then uh, just getting out there, everyone, crowds are going nuts. Gym's packed beyond I've ever seen in my life. My most memorable game was uh, against our rival. At the time it was uh, River City that we played. Uh, we were from West Sacramento. And this was a team that every year they beat us. And uh, I don't even remember the beginning of the game, to be honest. All I remember is they called the timeout and our entire team just started going nuts. Winning a game, which for my school at that time, we weren't very good, so winning a game was always something special. In the beginning, the, it was, you know, very light rain. And then uh, just gradually throughout the rest of the game, it just started raining harder and harder. It's just an adrenaline rush that you can not even imagine. We had about six, seven thousand people in the stands, and coming into the game, we were not even supposed to win. The ball wouldn't even move anywhere; it would just go three feet. And uh, but Neil Hutzel managed to get a cross off. There was a minute left in the fourth quarter, and everything was tied up, and we were about 42 yards from the end zone. And and saying, oh, "Okay, maybe we have a chance to actually win this game. We're going to really do it." Uh, and all of a sudden when we came out at halftime, we completely just dominated the game. Noah Mutt just comes in flying with his afro, his curly afro, and gets a header right into the goal. I can remember stepping up, you know, taking my steps back, and uh, I remember the snap, and right after the snap, everything was just pretty much in slow motion from there. I remember the most memorable thing was uh, scoring that last touchdown on a, on a bootleg, and no one being around me, just running into the end zone with the ball in the air thinking, man, we got, we got this guy, it's over. And then, as soon as it made it through the uprights, it was just, I just remember like all of us going insane and all my friends surrounding me like, dude, Jesse, that was pretty sick. And, and just waiting for the end of the game, because then you can see the look on their faces when you know that you beat them and you get to shake their hands.